All right, everybody, time for the last character. What do you know? It's the hardest one. The Bound. I don't even know what to say about this text going on here. Doesn't look that great, and the artwork isn't that great, but... This character actually seems pretty cool, from what I've seen. So the artwork is actually kind of original looking. You know, it's still a demon, but... You know, it's not bad. The eyes look pretty good. So the items you start with, Lord of the Pit, Stigmana, Dad's Key, and Holy Mantle. And I have the same health system as the Lost. Which means it's not going to be terribly unlikely if I lose this run. Which would be a shame, because I would like to have won every single run on uh, this entire series. But, you know, if I die in like the first few minutes, I'm not going to... Oh, why did I even do that? I can't. You can't get Spirit Hearts. You don't want that out of me either. So apparently take, taking the mark makes you bald, which is interesting. Or balder than usual. Horns are kind of like hair. I don't know. Maybe not actually. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. I was gonna say if I die in the first few minutes, I'm not gonna just stop right there. I don't know how many attempts I'm gonna go with this. Uh, we'll see just how far we get. A free mark in the uh, curse room is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I love that. So like the best way to play the Lost is to get an amazing deal with the devil on the second floor and usually that'll help you with the rest of your run. And when people are playing the Lost, they like to reset until they get a good first item, and yeah, it's a pretty good idea, actually. That's what you should be doing. Because that character is not fair. And he's not easy, really. He's definitely the hardest way to play the game. If you can call it playing the game. It just makes me more and more mad the more I think about him, but... I don't know. Man, why did I get rid of the horns? Oh my god! Oh, we're still going. Keep in mind, he does start with Holy Mantle, so... If we get hit once, we will die. Alright, oh my god. We don't have a key. That sucks. We're not in hard mode, though, so we should be... expecting to get a key at some point. I just do this, actually. What am I talking about? Ooh, an all-stats upgrade. Yeah, now we look nothing like the character. Look at that. Okay. And once again, as, as I said in the last one, it's probably something you could do to prevent that. I don't know, though. I'm not a huge, uh, modder. I like playing them, but making it myself, definitely not something I'm good at. In fact, I've never done it. So there you go. Don't ever ask me for anything. So we have a joke card. I'm just gonna use this next floor. Cause why not? And to get one item, it is ghost baby. That is not what you wanna see. I'm not gonna reset. Though I am tempted to, but I'm not going to. Um I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that happen. Alright. Ooh. I am gonna do all of this. Let's open those two red chests. Uh, him. Um, yeah, okay. And I'll use a Joker card to get these two things. I'm just gonna take this. I'm not gonna, I think if I use it, it will just kill me. So, I'm not gonna use it. I'm going to take my thumb off the keyboard. I don't want to accidentally press it. That would be so embarrassing. It's, it's like really tempting. Alright. Come on. I hate this room. I should probably stop shooting. Huh? I do want to keep this charged. Come on. Oh my god. Alright. Making decent progress here. 
you know what? I'm not gonna call it decent. Come on, man. There we go. So we've gotten tons of deals with the devil items now. None of which are really that good. I mean, by themselves they're pretty good, but you know, it's no mom's knife, brimstone, any of that. Common gold, pretty much terrible. I usually don't expect to get. Uh, you know what? I should pick up that nickel. What am I doing? That's just like really lazy. I'm gonna get these two. I'm a very prudent player right now. Prepare to be impressed. So, you know, without a doubt, actually, Kurt Skull might be interesting. If I was like super duper cautious, I would take that. But I'm not. Uh, no curses for the rest of the run. Seems like a pretty good thing. But yeah, there's no doubt that this character is stronger than the loss. I, th I still think the loss should be buffed. It's just ridiculous. Everything about that character is ridiculous, actually. <laughs> I think he's just a really lazy character. I don't know. What else can you really call him? Like, oh, just don't get hit. That, that's not a fun type of challenge, unfortunately. Imagine if, like, like Dark Souls or something, like you just died when you one time you get hit. Wouldn't that be fun? Nah, it really wouldn't be fun. Like, it's a challenging game, but it's not challenging to the point where if you mess up one time, you're instantly dead. Because the game hates you. And it wants you to feel bad about yourself. Now I would like to use this Hermit card in a uh, mob trap room if possible. Luck upgrade? How many of luck I can get? Ooh, that might let us skip to the next floor. Though it also might be a retro treasure room, which is what I'd be most interested in. Let's go see, is it the clean one? No, actually it has no bed. In fact it's a shop. I might buy that item just so I stop feeling so nervous. Eh, I can't really justify doing that though. D4, uh, definitely not gonna happen. I don't know why I'd ever do that. This run seems to be pretty good so far. It's not god tier, but it's definitely good. I lose so much damage for what? I've already got like five damage ups, kind of. Maybe like three. And you, if I use D4, I'm like, I'm not gonna keep them either. So I'm trading all the damage away for like a very short potential of mom's knife. And that just does not seem worth it to me. I will keep, keep trying to grab these things. So yeah, this is the first episode that I'm actually a little bit nervous. But all the other ones, it's pretty easy. I don't mean to brag, but I mean I did win all of them, so. I think I can brag. Um, let's see what's in here. Technology. Definitely not happening. It's technology one. Which I don't think is a damage down. I think it's only technology two. But I still really don't like that item. They, I don't know if they made technology worse or if I've just finally realized it's not any good. But I just don't like technology at all. Which is a shame, because I love it in real life. Oh, my God. I don't know, does Pinky Eye work with Common Cold? I hope so. I really hope so, because then I'll do, like, a 1% more damage. On top of the 1% more damage from Common Cold, of course. Let's just focus on killing these people first. All right. The reason you take H5 grades is so they don't show up again, though. That usually doesn't happen anyways. Fine, I'm just gonna press it. I'm just saving that. It doesn't do anything for me. But I feel way, way better. 
You know, even if we don't win, like, making it to the depths as a character, where if you get hit twice and then we die, I feel bad about that, actually. I still think that's pretty good. I don't know, what space for item would I even want? I don't know, honestly. There aren't many that are very good when you can't get hit. I think it's Book of Lob. Book of Lob, pretty good. Book of Shadows. Things like that. Uh, huh. Pretty much. Kill the rest of these guys. I'm not sure how the run's going right now, because... Whenever I did the Lost, I would just reset until I got Mom's Knife or Brimstone. One of those two. There were no exceptions. This item would actually be useful. It's a terrible item, but... Has at least a potential to be useful, rather than just completely worthless. BAM! I probably wouldn't have gotten hit in that room, but now I know for sure I wouldn't. Oh, I don't know if that makes it worth it, though. Game's just handing us bombs right now. I'm not sure why that would be. Didn't mean to buy that key. And now we have to bomb this even more. I feel a little bit bad for the donation machine, to be I'll be honest. But it knows why I do it. It's because I love it. I mean I, I slammed 999 things into that, so it should like me, I think. Double Gritty Jr. when there's a chasm? Sign me up. Though he does shoot sometimes, so you need to be a little bit careful about things. Okay. You're just gonna come at me? Alright, dude. That wasn't the easiest boss out you could have had, but that's not terribly hard. And we get a slight damage upgrade for our troubles. No deal. Where are the deals? Getting go ahead isn't like completely necessary, but it helps so much. Uh, okay. I think I'll stick with this. At least I know for sure that Gumby's head would be useful. Now, Flush is a pretty bad item. Uh, did I get hit there? I don't know. I didn't see. Pretty much going okay so far. I don't know how to feel about this run. It's been a while since I've played as a lost. Like when I was done with it, I just wanted no memory of it to come back. But I knew that someone, someone's gonna do this. Someone's gonna say, "All right, here's the lost, but different, but still the lost." And here we go. Ooh. Come on, man. Where's Mom's knife? I know you got it somewhere. I think I've said before, but that is my favorite item in the game. It's too bad I will never get it. Ever. Book of Shadows. How can I say no? That just seems like the obvious item. I guess when I use it is when I run out of, uh, Holy Mantle. Holy Water. Uh, it's garbage. I didn't even know you can get that from the Golden Chest Pool. That must just be, like, one of the random things you can get. With the Savior mod. I guess this is the last video of it all, too. Which makes me a little bit upset. Well, let's go fight mom. I expect this to go pretty decently. Haven't been hit yet, don't really want to jinx myself, but. Fight's going alright so far. Wonder if I'll do boss rush. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make it. Take the Polaroid. 
what we got in here? Um, not terrible. Oh, is the spike just died though? Oh, you know what? As they placed a the spike in here, thinking that you would fight it, but no. Uh, I just, uh, man, monsters lung is a good item, but I don't think it's worth fighting there for. And the radioactive item there wouldn't help me at all, because that's the body, that's the 3 HP up one I was talking about last video. Okay, we did get hit there, but I don't think I'm going to get hit again. Yeah. Okay. This is a little bit scary. That was one of the worst things I felt about playing as a Lost, is like... Whenever I play, I think I kind of get into my run like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and this is the tactical decision. And then you just end up dying accidentally, like you accidentally get hit more than once, and I guess when you're playing as Lost, just get hit once. And the run's over, and you have to completely restart. It's just not fun. You know, when you see Binding of Isaac, you think like, oh, this is a simple freaking 2D game, okay, but... Once you really get into it, there's a lot of thought behind the actions you do in this game. And then you take that away for some reason. Uh, I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. Especially the way you unlock the characters. Pretty much the stupidest thing I've seen all year. I was actually thinking to myself, like, what are the odds that anybody has ever... Uh, you know what, let's hit me. You ain't nothing. I'm scared of my own bomb. Small rock. All that for nothing. Alright. I was thinking to myself, like, what are the odds that people actually are going to unlock the lost without knowing how to do it? Like, just unlocking them accidentally. Uh, I'm pretty sure that no one is going to get them without knowing. It's such a specific set of things. Like, I don't know how they expect people to know. And, uh, there's one lump left. Oh, 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 where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, there's, there's more than one left. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of nerve wracking. Come at me. <laughs> Okay, killed him. Now just the champion ones left. Put him right there it is. Whew. That was pretty scary. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't have reset. We've gotten pretty far. But I'd hate just to lose then. Like, we've only killed mom. Like that's not even an unlock. In the game sense of things. I mean I already, I guess when you have Platinum God, nothing is unlocked, but... For the sake of pretending. I wouldn't have gotten shit. Come over here. I don't know if I would have died by now if I hadn't taken Book of Shadows, but I'd definitely be more nervous about things. I always see like a lot of the advice posted for loss. It's like just don't worry about anything you do, just play it casually, just like any other character. I don't think that's the right advice though. When I play, I try I try to play very patiently. The way you just saw me like hiding out there on the rocks, I don't do that with any other character unless I absolutely need to. Just playing casually, I wouldn't have just hidden the rocks there, like I don't know, there is there any time on my last few runs on the savior mod where I haven't been like really really OP by the time I get to the womb. I think Adam I wasn't. Ah oh, man I really want to get oh I've explored every room. Oh boy <laughs> conquest. Oh god. Okay. Okay we did it we dodged it. Get the hell away from him. Kill him kill him kill him go. Okay. Okay. Death Touch. Good item. Great item. And another damage up. Alright. Two more damage ups and penetrating tears. Whew. We're getting somewhere. 
I don't think it's completely outrageous that we've made it to Womb 2 on my first try in a while, but... Well, I shouldn't say in a while. It's my first time playing as this character. I mean, like, as a Lost, because so, this character's pretty similar to the Lost. Let's, let's be real here. Oh, was there only one hand? Oh, there he is! Very delayed. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, a little bit nervous. I wish we could have gotten shielded tears. Especially now that we got penetrating shots, but the money never really came for me. Because it wasn't a shop earlier, but... I couldn't buy it, unfortunately. Now, I would like to save Book of Shadows for... Uh... On boss fire. Oh, it took, some, took me a long time to say. I don't know if it'll be possible, though, because... Well, I'm sorry, it's not easy, but... Rooms leading up to it are pretty tough as well. I don't know. It depends on the rooms I get before it, what I want to prioritize. But... Probably gonna want to use it there if I can. This is scary. Yeah, but there's no doubt this character is stronger than... The Lost. I mean, just, it just is... He just is stronger. He has more damage, he has Holy Mantle. I feel like this is what the character should have been like. He should have had some damage. At least. It's like such a lazy character. Like, really, you're gonna start him with Isaac stats? You couldn't have done anything there. Come on, man. He's like, not even a single unique item either. Like, like he has just flight, but the flight he has isn't even an item. It's just flight. Doesn't make sense to me. Alright, so we did manage to save this item. And then we did get hit there, like, immediately. Hmm. Just die. Please die. Jesus. heart killed me. Well, that's the end of that. And if there's anything I want to say, it's that text at the bottom there. Where you can see where it says the actual name, but over that in red, The Bound. You know what, I think I'd always call The Bound. It's because he's bound to the lost shitty mechanic of only being able to be hit once. And this sad music also sums it up pretty well, I feel. What a what a waste of a character. <laughs> well, this is Kangaroo 17. And this has been the Savior mod. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when I'm on a brand new mod. Who knows what it could be. But I'm pretty excited for it. Bye.